Hey guys, here with Leonard Ellerby, May oh, yeah, CEO of Mayweather Promotions. <laughs> um, big fight coming up every night here in LA with uh, Javonta Davis and Abner Modest. I'd like to get your point on how you break, the, break down this fight um, that we're going to be seeing here in LA. I think, it, I think actually it's a dangerous fight um, because of what Abner Morris brings to the table. Um, he's, a, he's a warrior. Um, he, he has a fighting spirit. Um, and, and, and he comes to fight. You know, um, he's he's been in very big fights with great competitors, um, and we know that he's going to be at his best because this is a fight that he wanted. And anytime that's what always makes for a dangerous fight, and you can never overlook a fighter, is when your opponent is actually asking for it. And yeah. And, and the reason he's asking for it is because he's a great competitor and he feels very confident that he can win the fight. Yeah. You said it yourself that you guys respect him for asking for the fight, for wanting it. Um, you know, maybe maybe they're a little too confident. That, uh, Robert Garcia was comparing this fight against um, the Broner Maidana. When you heard that, what did you make of that? No, I, I just know Robert. Robert is an outstanding trainer, and he's been, you know he's one of the, the best in the game and been for quite some time. I mean, he's he he knows what he's up against, and he knows that they're the underdog. They're coming in, and they're gonna bring their best to, to, to win. But he knows that, with all due respect, all due respect, that uh, Tank isn't Broner, and, and you know they all have different styles, and you can't compare, you know, none of the two. You, you can't compare th those kind of things. So I think he meant it in good just. And um, he's very confident in his fighter, and he should be. Right, right. Now, this fight that Tank is taking against Abner Mahdez, you mentioned there's were many there's many options for him mm -hmm. to take. Um, um, I, I, I overheard you speaking about a possible fight with uh, with Tevin Farmer. Um, can you uh, elaborate on that and um, not fighting on the zone if, if that were to happen? Well, no, I, all I'm just saying is, is, that, is that when it comes down to it is that we we have a plan, and anytime you have a plan, you you don't de deviate from your plan if your plan is is um, and you you have to have A, B, and C plans because sometimes plan A doesn't work. But I'm saying that the, for the development of him and and the plan that we have for him to become a a, a megastar in the sport, we're not going to put our kid in any situation where he's gotten to this point where he's a young star in the sport and he's and he's right on the cusp of being a superstar in the sport. Why would we take him and put him in a situation to be fighting on a platform that nobody's watching? That's all I'm saying. That's just, that's not being smart. And that's, that's the prime reason why there are no stars with the exception of Canelo um, and, and Joshua that are, you know, for, but again, it's that the proof is in the pudding that nobody's watching this because the numbers. What did you call it instead of the zone? It's called the dead zone. 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 I mean, and again, it's no disrespect towards him personally because actually I think he's a very good promoter. And, you know, he's, you know, we don't, we, we, we have a, a, a cool relationship. I was just actually surprised that some of the stuff that he had said. So I had to address it that you you know, he you know, he came out and he said, you know, several things, but you, you, you know, and then actually a media person showed me a video about two days ago with some stuff and I was like, Oh yeah, I, I need to address this right here. <laughs> right. It's like he he's you know, I, I get it. I get what he's trying to do, but he's went around he's went about it in the wrong way. Yeah. He's went about it in the wrong way. Right. Let me 